Okay, hi everyone. Let us see this uh, retina part two quiz. Are who has given this uh, hard sign? Ye kahan se aa gaya? So retina part two, I will solve the questions like uh, I am solving the questions uh, directly in front of you. See what can be the thought process, your thought process, and what is my thought process? What is the difference? So I am ready to solve the ten questions. Three, two, one. Here aa gaya hard sign. Go. So I am giving the first question, and this is a image question. and this image is showing some cell now even if i don't know this this option let us see the options the option is showing to true for this cell so rod either it can be a rod cell or a cone cell now what is it it is a rod or a cone let me see see cone like a softy cone this is not a softy this is like a rod like a cylinder so this is a rod cell so first option is correct now this box area is a nucleus and rod nucleus should be present in the it is towards a choroid so outer word is towards a choroid so that is towards a choroid outer nuclear layer, not the inner nuclear inner nuclear contains uh, the nucleus of uh, bipolar cells amacrine cells horizontal cell muller cells so answer is this is false and this is absent in the fovea 120 million rods are there 6 million cones are there and it is not present in the fovea this i should know because cones are present in the fovea so this question i will solve as a b option and it is correct very good very good answer sir now this is the uh, audio audio is a 75 year old 75 year old comes station to you comes to you with of a single ring like floater in front of the right eye since past few weeks single ring floater in front single retina detachment does not have single it is multiple floaters vitre semblance will have multiple floaters crv will not have any floater this is posterior vitreous is detaching if it detaches completely it forms a single ring in the vitreous cavity that is v's ring v's ring w e i s s and that is corresponding to single ring scotoma that is single ring uh, floater positive scotoma that is posterior vitreous detachment v's ring now this is hemorrhage this is red is hemorrhage this is right retina now this hemorrhage is logically it has to be in front of the retina that's why i can't see the retina so it means it is it is interretinal it cannot be dot and blot and flame shield splinter is a hemorrhage at the optic disc flame shield hemorrhage it has to be in front of the retina now subretinal means behind the retina subhyoid hyoid means vitreous so between the vitreous and the retina there is a subhyoid space this is the boat shape hemorrhage so this i know the answer this is a subhyoid hemorrhage ha ah, correct answer अरे मैंने तो दिया है ओके ऑडियो अ यंग पेशेंट कम्स टू इमरजेंसी डिपार्टमेंट विद हेडेक्स पेशेंट बहुत आ रहे हैं इमरजेंसी डिपार्टमेंट विद हेडेक्स द विजुअल एक्विटी वाज 66 विजुअल एक्विटी 66 बोथ आईज वेरी गुड एंड फंडस एग्जामिनेशन बायलैटरल मैक्युलर स्टार अपीयरेंस वाज सी मैक्युलर स्टार अपीयरेंस एक्सुरेट्स एक्सुरेट्स सेंट्रल रेटिना व्हाट इज एक्सुरेट्स इन द सेंट्रल रेटिना नो एक्सुरेट डज नॉट गो ऑलवेज इन डायबिटिक रेटिनोपैथी विजन इज 66 exuded with macular star appearance this is the fourth stage malignant hypertension stage of diabetic of hypertension retinopathy that is malignant hypertension you have to check the blood pressure and the only thing you can do is control the blood pressure now which is the earliest sign of patient of diabetic retinopathy <coughs> very important topic by diabetic retinopathy the first stage first sign is first stage is very mild non proliferative diabetic retinopathy <coughs> and that is outpouching of the capillary proliferation of the capillary because of loss of the pericytes that is aneurysm but microaneurysm not macroaneurysms that is the first sign that is the answer next flame hemorrhages exudates will come venous bleeding comes in severe very severe and if there is a new vessels on the optic disc that is a proliferative stage so earliest sign is microaneurysm seen in nerve fibular layer ganglionic layer <coughs> and a diabetic patient hemorrhage in the retina new vessels in the optic disc new vessels anywhere i remember new vessels anywhere in the diabetic patient is a proliferative stage of diabetic retinopathy and in proliferative you have to destroy the hypoxic retina the entire retina is hypoxic so you have to destroy the hypoxic retina by photocoagulation pan means entire entire uh, retina has to be uh, destroyed sparing the macula so pan retin photocoagulation but anti vision injection also are given so what to choose the main treatment is pan retinal photocoagulation secondary is intravitreal antivitreal injections so that is proliferative stage of diabetic retinopathy pan retinal photocoagulation is answer ye bhi sahi ho gaya mera very good 
Now, six months old pregnant lady has bilateral decreased vision on fundoscopy retina detachment is seen in shift shifting fluid sign is characteristic of shifting fluid means because of the outer barrier uh, because of uh, increased fluid coming from choroid in pregnant lady there is a increase in the blood flow in the choroid vessels so there is diffusion of the fluid in the into the space between the neurosensory and the rp sub retinal space causing convex configuration retinal detachment but increased fluid is coming from choroid and the fluid shift according to patient position that is a characteristic of exudative retinal detachment now parents brought the child to the clinic with where he was found to have mental retardation skeletal muscle weak are is a pediatric question are no 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 cherry red spot be now cherry red spot is seen out of these four i know it is not seen in hurler and hunter so that is wrong mental retardation skeletal muscle weakness are in pediatric i have studied we seen in tsex and neiman pick both, both and both have cherry red spot but there was no hepatosplenomegaly that i remember neiman pick has organomegaly tsex does not have hepatosplenomegaly megaly that is the answer of this question now this is the fundus picture this is the optic disc uh, this is what this is yellow now, hemorrhage cannot be yellow exudate is yellow and this is uh, this is uh, soft or hard exudate now soft means cotton wool spot and cotton wool is large and fluffy hard exudate is lipoprotein small shiny ones this is large and fluffy this is looking i have a cotton wool at, at my home this is cotton wool spot cotton wool spot is soft exudate and that is infarction of nerve fiber layer ha that is the answer in which layer this is sign is located nerve fiber layer infarction that is cotton wool spot is the answer of this question option number a and then are phir aage audio a 55 year old 55 year old patient presents decreased vision sudden decreased vision, vision. that was painless sudden painless decrease vision on retina examination there were flame hemorrhages flame hemorrhages cotton wool spots all over the retina are all over the retina if all over the retina i can rule out branch because branch will have only one retina involvement and hemorrhages and exudates in all over the retina <clears throat> in artery occlusion there is cherry red spot in vein occlusion there is hemorrhages exudates all over the retina splash to meto appearance hypertension retinopathy aur kya diya hua answer to crv ho hai no doubt there were new But vessels seen time hai na new vessels also iris can be seen it is a it is crv o which can lead to new vessel glaucoma in how many days 100 days glaucoma that is crv wow so we have solved the 10 questions and i am first out of one out of one can be the condition very good because of this scenario बाबा एक ने एग्जाम दिया उसमें मैं फर्स्ट हूं वेरी नाइस ऑल राइट बेस्ट वेशेस